Hello everyone, welcome to Raw Sim, it's me Rawls, and we are back with more Seduce Me, the Otome. So last time we had quite an ordeal, uh, being kidnapped by Malix, and then the, her dead grandpa appears and, you know, unlocks magical powers within her, and, you know, she has a magical battle with Malix, and then, like, his girl that was with him, Eris, just, like, smacks him and takes all of his people and leaves because of reasons. Um, oh, and apparently Lisette is, like, possessed or something? Who can say? Somebody's gonna pick up there. Yeah, Eris vanished, taking Max with her. As I was left alone, the police sirens stopped. I looked over to the open passage to see the incubi with a large police siren microphone staring, megaphone, staring at me in surprise. Where is he? I swear I'm gonna. He's gone. Eris took him and left. They won't be coming back. Well, that's easy. It was all so surreal. I was helped by a devil? But I quickly shook off the feeling. I was alive and that was all that mattered. I fought to stay alive, and there I was. The boys tried to question me, but James cleared his throat, catching the attention of his brothers and me. Let's just get you home, miss. There's nothing more to see here. We don't even get, like, pictures of them here? Okay. All together, we began to walk out of the warehouse back home. There was no way in hell anyone was going to find out about this. It was over. Malix was gone, and the boys were finally safe. A wave of relief ran through my body at the thought of never having to deal with that group again. To be fair, you dealt with them like once, but I guess it was probably very traumatizing. At the same time, a ping of realization hit the back of my mind. The boys were only going to stay until after Malix was defeated. That was our deal. As we approached home, I could feel something heavy weigh down my heart. It was late, but the boys led me inside and turned on the lights in the lobby. Finally, we can relax. It will be good to have some rest without devils breathing down our necks. Ugh, I'm just tired. Can I hit the hay early? I think some sleep would be good for all of us. Mm. I looked to Damien knowing he could read my mind, and frowned. I didn't want him to know about my thoughts on the situation. Yeah, that sounds good. I wanted to just end tonight. Too much had happened, and I felt dizzy just trying to figure it out. However, Damien spoke up, stopping all of us from moving. Should we be gone in the morning? The air became still with tension. The realization of the situation hit the boys like a wave, forcing them to turn to me in curiosity. They had remembered their deal, and were now awaiting me to decide their fate. However, I knew my answer. I couldn't keep them here. I knew I couldn't. They were demons, and I was a human. I needed to deal with my own life beyond anything else. If the boys stayed, my life would only become more complicated. I think that would be best. James nodded in agreement, keeping a professional tone in his voice as he replied to me. Then we will be gone before you wake, miss. Thank you for letting us stay here as long as we did. What, like three days? Okay. I could feel the upset emotions of the incubi reverberate in the room, but I couldn't change my mind. I had too much going on in my life to let them stay, no matter how much I wanted them to. It was a pleasure to have served you, beautiful lady. It was hard watching each boy turn away from me for the last time. I stood there, waiting for them all to leave the lobby. I guess this is goodbye. Yeah. Have a good one. I stuck to my guns. I knew I was making the right choice. Well, this is kind of anticlimactic. Thank you for having us, miss. Maybe we'll see each other again. Maybe. Maybe not. Goodbye. As Damien left my sight, I finally let an air that I was denying into my body and sighed. 
My life would return to normal. Well, as normal as it could be. However, I was smarter and wiser than before. I knew of things beyond humanity now. I had come to learn about the boys and about the existence of the supernatural. I wasn't blind to what was beyond human life. Learning of this made me more open-minded. I nodded to myself before heading into my room, closing the door and mentally allowing the reality of the situation to sink in. Tomorrow, I had no school. I had school. No devils to kidnap me, no incubi to wake up with. I went to bed that night, accepting and not regretting anything. Ellipsis. Or so I had hoped. <laughs> you are an interesting creature. I opened my eyes to see a woman staring down at me with a very sly smirk on her face. I opened my mouth to scream in fright, but a hand quickly covered my mouth. Uh, yeah. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. No screaming now. Too early, silly girl. I can only stare up at the woman above me. I still felt weak, but not having the strength to move and fight her off. She was very beautiful, but I felt more anger than amazement. Hmm. Why do the boys like you? You're unique, yes, but that can't be all that you have going for you. Rage began, cons began to consume my core again. This woman, whoever she was, was making me mad. She must have known as she let another smirk grow onto her face. Ooh, you're feisty. That could be why. Before I could bite her hand in anger, she removed her hand from my lips, standing up and staring down at me from her place next to my bed. I quickly sat up and glared daggers at the intruder. Who the hell are you and why are you in my room? The woman began to laugh, making the rage inside me increase. I wanted to punch her, but I waited for her answer. <laughs> How silly of me. I forgot that we demons are not well known over So what is she, a succubi? You can call me Diana, little human. Diana? Demon? She's totally a succubi. You're a demon? I am. But I'm much more than just an average demon. What do you mean? Silly girl. I'm a succubi. Yeah! I knew it. I stared at Diana in shock. A succubus? First incubi, now a succubus? Great! I have now met both genders of sex demons. Diana crossed her arms into her bosom and looked at my body. Well, you are pretty. But you seem very reckless. Too reckless. I moved out and stood from the bed, still glaring at Diana. Why are you here? Well, I came here to clean up what the boys clearly forgot to clean. Tch, men, so sloppy. What do you mean by that? I mean erasing your memories, sweetie. This woman wasn't serious, was she? She comes into my room and spouts this? This was ridiculous. I began to walk towards my door, wanting to leave the room. The boys could get rid of her. I had no mind about dealing with her myself. The boys are gone, sweetie. I froze in place. What? They were gone already? No way. I turned to Diana, glaring hard at her as she kept a smirk to me. You're lying. Am I? If you want to go see for yourself, you can. But I promise you'll be wasting your time. I stared, trying to find any hint if she was lying. She had to be. The boys wouldn't just up and leave without resting first, right? Diana crossed her arms and waited for me to make a choice. I decided to believe her for now. I'd find some hint in this conversation. What do you mean, take my memories? <laughs> well, we demons can't have just anyone knowing about us. You have to completely devote your soul to learning about us. And even then, it's not always guaranteed that you can be granted knowledge of us. 
what makes me not deserve to know everything? I was attacked by devils. I found the boys in my house wounded and sheltered them. I think I deserve to remember those moments. Also that time you had like a giant magical battle with the devil. Diana let out a laugh, running a hand through her hair before looking back to me, amused. You were attacked by a gang and were almost killed. You found five homeless men and let them stay in your home. There's nothing special about either of these instances. Yes, there was! A human like you can't understand the rules. The boys themselves aren't even aware of the rules. They'll learn soon enough. Diana flipped her hair before looking to me with a stern look. Listen, sweetie. You're not going back to bed or leaving this house with those memories. I'm taking them from you one way or another. I glared, standing my ground. You're not taking my memories. I'm not letting you take them. And what do you plan to do with them, huh? Tell the press? Gossip to your friends that demons exist? Confess to your parents that you had demon servants and were almost killed by a devil gang? Now she was making me mad. Did she seriously think I was this stupid? These memories were precious to me, and I wasn't going to let her win over my mind. These memories are important to me. I know that other creatures exist. I know that magic exists. I'm more open-minded now. Open-minded or gullible. What did she mean by that? The point of being open-minded was to be open to all thought. How is that anything close to being gullible? There is nothing to learn from remembering the boys that won't bring trouble. I'm merely saving you from that. There are more than just demons who want to keep their existence a secret. There are many creatures in this world that don't want to be known of, and you remembering a small fragment is not acceptable to them without good reason. Diana smirked. If you would have kept the boys, or at least had one of them around, they'd be a little more lenient to listen to your pleas. However, you're about to go into tomorrow without any of them around. I couldn't believe my ears. There were more than just demons? Other fictional creatures existed? There was a system? What? Diana sighed and snapped her fingers, lifting my body up from the ground with her magic. Look, I can kill you and no longer waste what little time I have, or I can erase your memories and go on with my life. I have more important things to do above arguing with you. I looked down at the ground to see something that made every nerve in my body quickly quake in fear. On the ground, it was a large open mouth with sharp, wet teeth leading to an empty black abyss. I could feel the heat from the mouth's breath pant against my floating body. Ah! I looked to Diana, who was looking at me with a stern and almost heartless gaze. Make a choice, sweetie. Give up your memories or be a demon snack. I warn you, he's quite the biter. I was panicking. I was about to die, again. The boys weren't here to protect me. Well, they weren't there the last time either, honey. What was I going to do? Hmm. I mean, last time she fought, might not work this time. I try to make a deal. But I don't feel like she's open to deals, honestly. Hmm. I don't know. We will fight. I wasn't going to let her win. I knew I could fight her. I began to pull on the hold on me roughly. My mind was fighting. My body wasn't responding. I will. I assumed you were going to fight with magic. Oh God. You still wish to fight. <laughs> Diana rubbed her temples before walking to me. I've had enough of this. All of a sudden, Diana grabbed my head, making my mind blank out. I felt large waves of energy zip from my body and mind at her touch, but it intensified as Diana placed her lips on mine. I didn't kiss back. I didn't fight. I couldn't do anything. I could only stare as she drained my body of energy. My body began to go limp, and my mind grew insanely heavy. If I wasn't floating, I would surely be on the ground, passed out. How was she able to pull this much energy without doing anything more than kissing me? I would never know. 
Soon my whole body felt numb, and I felt like an empty spirit floating in midair. Diana slightly frowned at the sight. Such a waste. Diana ran a hand over my hair, twirling a strand around her finger. So long, sweetie. Before I knew it, I was fallen. She had let me go. I could only close my eyes. I didn't even feel a thing. Oh, whoops! Well, apparently that was the ending! End of so long, sweetie. Oh. Well. That was a bit surprising. Not a very good ending we got there. Um, I might go back and try for some different ones. Uh, I don't know. I'm not really sure <laughs> where to go from there. That wasn't a very good ending. Um, I don't know if there was something I could have done to make the boys not leave. I assume so. Uh, but yeah, um, yeah, I I'll probably do another episode, at least one more episode to try and get an ending where she does not die. That would be useful, you know? Um, so, uh, yeah, leave me a like if you enjoy uh, this video. Let me know what you think. And uh, if you know anything about how to get different endings, you know, drop me a little hint. Always so I can look it up myself. But, you know, why not? And uh, I will talk to you guys in the next episode of whatever I make.